Inside Parliament with Montague. With support from the Houses of Parliament. Psst! Hey! Hey! Up here! I'm up in the press gallery in the Commons today. You see that man and woman taking notes? They're part of the team of Hansard writers. It's their job to write down what's happening, both here and in the Lords. What was said and who said it. You know, stuff like that. Order! Order! You try writing down all that lot. What a jumble of voices! So you can see that it's a very skilled job. They can take notes at 180 words a minute. Or sometimes they use machines. But however they do it, they're blooming fast. But why go to all that bother, you might ask? So in the last survey, 3,904,000 children voted for 50% less homework and 80% more sweets, and that's a rise of 60%. Oh, I think I need a calculator. Especially when it sounds as, uh, um, complicated as that. Think about it. If your brother borrowed a pound off you to buy some sweets, you wouldn't want him to forget about it. And you definitely wouldn't want him to say, Oh, no, I didn't. It was you that borrowed the pound from me. So to avoid all that fuss and nonsense, you might get him to write an I.O.U. That's just writing on a piece of paper how much he borrowed so everyone knows what's what, and so you get your pound back. That's the important job that the Hansard staff do here, making detailed records of all the debates, questions and committees for everyone to be able to check. There's more, come on. Just a little gargoyle magic, and we can see what happens next. These are the managing editors at work. They're checking over what the writers have produced to ensure it makes sense and to group things helpfully together. So all the debates and questions on spoons or teapots or whatever are in one place. They publish it to the internet and in printed volumes. Every single day there's a new paper issue and there's often reports online in a matter of hours. Incredible! Even if the debate's been going on until one in the morning, the MPs and members of the Lords can read it in the paper copy at 6am the same morning, when they're having their bacon butties for breakfast. Amazing! Wasn't always so easy to read all about it, though. Oh, watch out. We're going back to the 1700s. For a very long time, it was actually against the law to publish the reports about what happened at Parliament. But of course people wanted to know what's going on, and it was important that they did. How else would they know if a war was brewing or if the taxes were set to go up? Lots of clever journalists used codes and jokes to get around the laws. In the lower room of the Robin Hood Society, a certain polar gentleman declared it his opinion that the duty upon paper, glass and painters' colours exported to America should be taken off. Billy Sugarcane opposed that opinion. Now that might not make much sense to us, but people of the day would be able to work out what was going on. Well, more or less. It wasn't until 1771 that the law were changed and the reports from the house could be published far and wide. Like today, anyone could find out what had gone on in the houses of parliament, although they wouldn't have had the internet back then. These days you can see what's been debated earlier in the day even, just with a few clicks. So, maybe you're thinking, so why is it called Hansard? Well, Luke Hansard and his sons were the printers who became famous for producing the important reports. That's how the business got its name, see? Now let's get back to the present time. There are even more ways that information is passed around Parliament, and a good job too. Now, fortunately if you're a gargoyle like me, you don't need to remember much. I keep my snout clean and try my best not to be seen. That's about it. Not like the MPs and the Lords here. So much goes on here, you'd need a diary the size of a dinosaur to keep up with it all. Time to vote! There's debates and questions and committees taking place all over the houses at almost any time of the day and sometimes into the night. MPs need to know what's happening and when. That's where the annunciators come in handy. Look, we've popped up all the way over in Port Cullis House. What a day out! This is where some MPs have their offices, and Emma Peel MP 
is checking the annunciator to see how an important debate is going. What's an annunciator? Well, to you and me, chum, it's a telly. A very clever one, though. It carries lots of information on the screen, too, about who's speaking, how long they've been at it, and what's coming up. Don't worry, Emma. You've got time to finish your sausage roll. So you can see how handy Hansard is. Keeping things running smoothly and producing detail reports to make it easy for everyone in the Commons and the Lords to see what's been happening at Parliament. And I don't need an enunciator to tell me it's time for a nap. <sighs> so I'll see you soon back inside Parliament. Inside Parliament with Montague the Gargoyle. With support from the Houses of Parliament. Find out more about the Houses of Parliament online on the Fun Kids website, www.funkidslive.com.